80 tons of steel ship, the 65-foot Florida Bay Coaster Key Largo handily negotiates the tight turns and twists of a mangrove creek in the Florida Keys. The bow thruster easily guides her massive prow through the sharp bends. Her skipper, in complete control. The twin 320-horse Caterpillar diesels respond instantly, supplying the power to maneuver through the narrow passages. From his vantage point atop the Key Largo sun deck, the skipper sights forward, choosing the best path among the mangrove's narrow channel. The hydraulically operated tailgate transforms the Key Largo's transom into a swim and dive platform. Also makes a good place to land the dinghy. The Florida Bay's 4,000-pound capacity crane is simple enough to be easily handled by an adept teenager and makes light work of launching the 14-foot skiff. It's powerful enough to handle the Jeep Sahara that's normally carried in the well deck. It can also be used to load supplies, a jet ski, or motorcycle, all of which can be stowed in her spacious hold, or perhaps a mini-sub, or to salvage a sunken ship, or its treasure. The coasters not only have the ability to carry a sizable dinghy, but the gates in the well deck give easy access once launched. A good sized skiff is nice for hauling groceries, exploring out of the way places, or even water skiing. Rafted together in a secluded cove, the Florida Bay coasters resemble a pair of nested waterfront townhomes. Private and secure, quiet and comfortable. With the distinct advantage of being able to hoist anchor in the morning, and move on to discover still another pristine piece of protected estuary. A complete, independent, self-contained, movable, floating island paradise. A rooftop patio gives out on 360-degree vistas with room to enjoy family closeness, good times with friends, a promising romantic sunset. The 50-foot Florida Bay coaster, Florida Bay, is equally at home in the shallows of the mangrove swamps, drifting down inland rivers, or here in the Gulf Stream, en route to the Bahamas. Victorian Wicker seats four on her aft veranda. The Florida Bay's great cabin. Two overstuffed easy chairs furnish a comfy reading nook in the corner. Dining table and galley are forward. Aft, a spacious sectional sofa provides seating for intimate conversation. The kitchen has a microwave, full-sized range with oven, dishwasher, and 22 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. A stairway leads up to the mid-deck. Three opening windows create an airy guest room. A pair of extra-long twin beds with drawers under are separated by a full-size hanging locker. 
Adjoining is the shower and head, also with an opening window that creates excellent cross ventilation. The master stateroom is on the upper deck over the saloon. Opening windows on three sides let in air and light. Unequaled water views present themselves in every direction. A queen-sized bed, end tables and bookshelves, a nine-drawer dresser, the kind of space and comfort normally found in a vacation hideaway. Plenty of hanging and storage space is found in the dressing room bath. The upper porch is a wonderful place to while away a lazy Sunday morning. The functional pilot house contains a sensible command center. Guests share the helmsman's view from the raised settee, long enough for the skipper or mate to stretch out on for an afternoon's nap. Climate controlled, out of the sun and weather, with visibility normally associated with exposed flybridges. The forecastle has a desk, extra long berths, great for kids, crew or extra guests. Good storage with a hanging locker. It has a compact head with shower. The stand-up engine room has plenty of space to get around the engines. A workbench with machinist's vice. Stairs leading up to the main deck. Tool storage. All the electrical and plumbing systems. Opening port lights and washer and dryer. The 80-ton Key Largo cuts through the waters of the Gulf Stream. Stable, comfortable, secure. A steel ship at one with the elements. Her sun deck sports a six-person spa, wet bar with ice maker. With 2,500 gallons of fuel, 1,500 gallons of fresh water, and a 500-gallon-a-day water maker, the Key Largo is completely self-sufficient. Her back porch has room for a variety of seating arrangements, plus a fresh water shower and stairs down to storage in the lazarette. Double weather-tight doors lead into the main saloon. Oak hardwood floors, pickled oak furniture and cabinets. The oversized settees are divided by a built-in entertainment center housing the stereo and TV. The extra-long galley has sufficient workspace for preparing the most elegant of gourmet meals. The cook is a part of the action with the informal arrangement conducive to casual entertaining. Microwave oven, cast iron burners on the range, dishwasher and trash compactor, wet bar with ice maker. The dining table hides away during the day. It opens and slides out to seat up to eight comfortably. Stairs lead up to the study. A full-size oak desk, a leather executive chair. Facing is a leather love seat that makes up into a double bed for occasional guests. Adjoining is a tile bath. A built-in soaking tub doubles as a shower. A skylight lets in the sun and views of the stars over the king-sized bed. Like her little sister, the Key Largo's master stateroom is on the upper deck. Roomy and airy, unmatched water views from her opening windows. An eight-foot dresser, bedside tables and shelves, a comfy love seat, a bedroom befitting a waterside villa. The dressing room has cedar-lined closets, full tiled bath and a whirlpool tub. The master porch creates a cozy hideaway, a private spot to curl up on a lazy afternoon. The Key Largo's bridge provides a proper place from which to take command. The raised settee has seating for eight, chart drawers and chart table, electronic engine and thruster controls, ship's clear view screen spins off rain and hail. The table can be lowered for cocktails or raised for lunch. Generously sized berths turn the forecastle into a sumptuous guest room. Plenty of hanging and storage space, dresser, oversized drawers under the berths, and a third tiled bath with built-in soaking tub. Stairs lead down to the space between the soundproofed engine rooms, the air-conditioned basement, a 15 cubic foot freezer, 
a Coast Guard approved electrical distribution panel. This is the answer to the most off question, how do you get the Jeep off? Watch this. First, the dinghy, a 17-foot Mako with a 90-horse Johnson, is launched. Next, the boat cradle is folded back out of the way. Cables are attached to the frame bolted to the chassis of the Jeep. A two-ton Range Rover has been carried aboard the Key Largo. The hydraulic crane handily lifts and swings its cargo up and over the side. In areas without a wharf, the Key Largo can be beached and the Jeep offloaded over the bow. Even with 3,500 pounds hanging over her side, the Key Largo leans but a few degrees, testimony to her great stability. The coasters are alone in their ability to carry and easily launch a full-sized vehicle. We'd like to thank you for letting us share these few moments of the coasting experience with you. If a coaster is in your future, or you'd like to learn more about coasting, please let us hear from you.